the Nikki Clark Show, transforming lives one story at a time. If you would like to be a guest or become a part of our live studio audience or even to become a sponsor, just go to www.nikkiclarknetwork.com. All right, welcome back to the Nikki Clark Show. And uh, this uh, wonderful lady beside me is the owner of Susie Marie Fitness Center. Please welcome Susie Marie to the show. <laughs> She's also a rapper by night. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, thank you. This is, this is what we do. We get a little silly. Yes. And we have fun and we inspire each other because we have some great stories to unleash. I know. Mine's just comment that I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay, so tell us about your background leading up to fitness. Were you always into fitness? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no? That's surprising. You know what? My background with leading up to fitness, I came from a very overweight person. Um, really? I'm about, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Um, you know, my background really started when I was about um, 13 years old, really. Um, my mother put me out of the house. I was put out at 13. And determination is really what really got me started. I am such a determined person. I push and I push and I push and I push until I really get where I need to be. Um, at 13, you know, I, I had nothing. I had no one. I came from Jamaica. And, um, what part of Jamaica? In Jamaica, Clarendon. Clarendon? Mocha. All right. <laughs> Don't, don't believe what they say about Maka. I mean, I'm saying to you, but somebody. Yeah, you too? I mean, <laughs> no, you know, and um, I had to really push myself and I had to prove something to myself and prove something to everyone else. I started there, then after, you know, I put myself through to, to, um, high school, then through college, then to university. And then I came to know fitness. Um, I have two children. My eldest, uh, Brianna, Taya, and my youngest, Taya, uh, Brianna. Um, with Brianna, I love, love Brianna. She was 10 pounds, 11 ounces. Wow. That's and, like a toddler. Oh, my God. <laughs> and uh, with her, I had an atopic pregnancy. I also had uh, gestational diabetes. So that really kind of got me, got me started. I put on 75 pounds just having the child. Normally, 40 pounds it is. Right. Uh, 75 pounds just having Brianna alone. And um, that really kicked me in the butt and it really um, helped me to kind of push myself. I also went into postpartum depression as well. And as the lovely lady spoke about depression, you know, you see us and we look happy and we look like we, we're like, yeah! yeah but, everybody you know, comes to you for a little sunshine, is, right? This is it. Mm -hmm. And after being in postpartum, uh, postpartum depression, this was something I needed to kind of push myself to get out of. So fitness was it. I started dancing as a um, fitness dancer, um, where I started with a Caribbean rhythm dance class. Like soccer size? Yes, something very similar. Yeah. I moved from there and I realized how much I love fitness. That helped me to lose the weight. And from there I started working in the city of Toronto, Toronto Public Health. Then I became a diabetes educator. And then I decided, you know what, I need to start my own business. I have to focus on women. And my business is about women. It's about empowering women. It's about having women feeling beautiful. It's about women feeling happy within themselves. Because as women, you know, we, we take on so much. Mm -hmm. We take on the role of mother, the role of, of, of a friend, the role of wife, you know, role of sister. And what we do is we let ourselves out. And we are always the last to be taken. Because we're always nurturing. Yeah, 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 you know. So, so lovely ladies I have here. Some of my lovely clients are here with me today. You know, <laughs> they're awesome. Um, the focus is really to help them to be fit. It's to be healthy. It's not about the skinny. It's not about the skinny. Because if you look at myself, I'm not skinny, but I'm healthy. I'm about keeping you healthy and keeping you focused and keeping you motivated. So my lovely friend over there, one of the clients, she ordered. You know what she ordered? What did she order? She ordered some chicken. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Say something for me. <laughs> so, you know, I was like, why are you ordering fried chicken? So that's what we do. We keep the ladies in focus and we keep them motivated and try to keep them, hold them accountable. Okay. Right? And, and it's all about balance, right? I mean, yes. the fried chicken, but then you might, you know, go jogging tomorrow or, or no, do something a little no, extra. No? No. Nothing no, like that? No, no. Okay. No. Keeping it real. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so 
so no fried chicken ever. <laughs> Can you smell it? <laughs> you know what? Listen. <laughs> In order to get anywhere, it's about commitment. Okay. It's about uh, focus. And in everything that you do in life, you gotta commit. No. Okay. So no the cheese cake. No cheese cake. No, no. The fried chicken it can come later, and the cheese cake can come later. But I, you know, if you want to eat that fried chicken, do not eat the whole chicken. That's my focus. But how can you do that? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> In order to lose that weight, in order to get the weight off, in order to be focused, and in order to be where you want to be, you have to remain very, very boxed. Okay. Which means that, you know, the fried chicken is something that, the reason why you got here in the first place. So we don't want to have you have a lot of fried chicken. Okay. We want you to have it later on. Once you focus, you got to the point where you need to be, mm -hmm. then you can have a little piece of it. Okay. Yes. And you can smell it, maybe. <laughs> All right. What are some of the benefits of exercise? Oh my gosh, benefits of exercise, it's about um, diabetes. You know, I, I talked about diabetes earlier, being gestational diabetic. Um, my mother, my father, my brother, my sisters are all diabetic. There are six of us in our family. And my focus about diabetes, it helps you to be fit, helps you to um, uh, basically uh, not get di di diabetes. Okay. And it also helps you to be happy. It really does. The endorphin that is released, it keeps you motivated, it keeps you sure. happy, and it keeps you going. A lot of the women look at me all the time and say, why are you so happy all the time? Because I eat well, I exercise. And the endorphins that is released makes me feel happy all the time. I know, it's kind of cliche, but it's actually true. I think it's a great thing. And, and I think it's important, too, that, um, I mean, you can work out as much as you want. You can work out, you know, three hours a day, seven days right. a week. Right. But if you're eating chicken wings and fries every day, that's going to sabotage Absolutely. Uh, your exercise. So would you say what 80, 90% of what you eat will contribute to weight yeah. loss and, and well, fitness? Absolutely. It's about 80%. Um, a lot of women, you know, and again, I'm, I'm talking about women now because that's what we focus on. 80% of, of healthy is food. Okay. You have to eat healthy. Okay. You, you know, with a lot of the weight loss programs that you see out there, and the fine prints, they always say, follow a healthy diet. So you cannot eat those fried chicken and, and expect to lose weight. A lot of women will come to me and say, well, you know, I, I eat healthy and I eat, you know, once in a while I'll eat on the weekend, I'll eat unhealthy. You cannot eat healthy Monday to Friday and eat unhealthy on the weekend and expect to lose weight. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work. You're going to stay exactly where you are and you're, you're going to be at a plateau consistently. Okay, so now um, we're in April, yes, and what uh, summer is supposed to be around the corner, yes. right? June. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I think, f speaking for myself and maybe some of the ladies and gentlemen, they want to fit into a little bikini or uh, bathing suits or speedos, um, <laughs> and 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 to, to, and to look ripped. <laughs> 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 so so how do you get that bikini or speedo body? Well, we are, we are now April, May, uh, June is just right around the corner. Right, right. The unfortunate thing is we got to keep it realistic. You know, to get into a bikini body within one month, is, it's unrealistic. So what we want to do is we want to focus on the small steps. So we want to start drinking more water. Water is the key. I don't drink enough water. I'm guilty. You have to yeah. drink water. Yeah. You know, a lot of people say, well, I don't like it. It's too, it's too, it doesn't taste right. Too watery. I, water. I yeah. know, but you have to. <laughs> Start up with a glass a day. Mm -hmm. They move your way up, they move your way up to maybe a liter a day. Okay. Um, then, of course, you got to do some planks. you got to focus on some planks. The crunches is not going to do it. It's the, it's the, it's the planks. Okay. And, of course, you got to be consistent and you got to be committed. Okay. So going back to water, how much, how many glasses should a woman drink? Okay. So if you're working out, you need a minimum of two liters a day. Woman. Two liters. Okay. Two liters. How many glasses of water is that? Six to eight. Just about six to eight. Okay. Yeah. And for men, how many? Men at least about four liters. Four liters. Especially if you want to lose weight. Okay. Because it flushes out all the toxins. Absolutely. It so flushes out all the toxins in your body. It makes you really, you know, and, and ladies, it makes your tummy flatter. Did you hear that? Yes. yes. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, I'm telling you this. No, listen, if you try this, go home, try this. Try to drink about a liter a day that one day and see, get up the next morning and see what your tummy looks like. Really? Yes. We well, ladies, are we going to do the challenge together? Yes. 
and then you're going to tweet me and let me know, right? Yes, one meter a day, get up the next morning, you're going to be fabulous. And, and uh, what about the lemon and lime twisty thing? Does that help? <laughs> yes. Um, one of the, the best things is to have your lemon and lime water first thing in the morning. So you would get up, have a glass or two with warm water or room temperature, not cold, and that will help to flush the toxin out of your body. This is before you eat, before you eat in the morning, before breakfast, anything else goes into your mouth. Because of course all the acid in your stomach, it helps to flush it out. Every okay. single day. Every single day. Okay. It has to be consistent, ladies. Everything has to be consistent. And gentlemen too, I'm sorry, I should say gentlemen. Yeah, he's like, wow, what about me? <laughs> Awesome. Yes. Really is awesome. Yeah. So tell um, tell us how can uh, we contact you to get some fitness tips and maybe even try out one of your classes. Where do you go? Um, well, you can definitely call call me at four one six eight nine five five one two nine. Or you can call me at 5129 or you can always visit us online at Susan Marie Susan Marie Fitness, sorry. Susan Marie Fitness dot C A or Susan Marie dot C A. Or you can visit us at Twitter Susan Marie dot C A. And would you like to tell everybody what you have? Yes. Everybody yes. is getting a car. Yes. Uh, no, 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 we're not. <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting us today, sister? I <laughs> no, I have some prizes for everyone. So I'm hoping you're in my area. Everyone today that came out, you get one week free to visit Susan Marie to come out and see us. One week free. Yay! What kind of classes do you have? We have everything. We have Zumba, we have Caribbean Fit, which is a sofa collection. I like that, I like that, I like that. And I teach everything. Why not be Why not be And I also have uh, kickboxing, I have yoga, everything. So please come out and see us. And the address is, is 100 Westmore Drive, unit number 27. And this is in the Rexdale area. Fantastic. Susan Marie, everybody. <laughs> yeah, she's awesome. Gotta get ready for that bikini bar. Yes. <laughs> we'll be back.